as we finish our setup, we want to look at something called the phase. When is the view looking? Not where, but when. What part in time of the project? And so we're going to take a look at those and see how they might look here. So on the baseline, if you, if you look, go to the view, and then you kind of look at the properties. You slide the bar down to the very bottom you'll see that this one, this baseline is called new construction. Now I can also put it at existing. I can, I can show it either way. Okay, and so right now, we'll leave it on existing for right now. It's just there for, for me to have as a thing. Now on the floor plan, you'll see it's new construction. So until I get something in here that's new construction, I'm not going to see it. Same with the roof plan. Okay, except that I've got this copied into it. Okay, so so those the baseline is existing. Your property line is already there. Your floor plan and your roof plan are what you want to see that's going to be new. Your site plan, there's an existing site plan and a new construction site plan. They look kind of the same right now until I get construction done. Okay, so that's that's sort of what we've got. And we're going to do a little bit more. I'm going to show you some more views as we go along, as we create them and make them. So one of the things we'll do right now is make one. We'll go to site plan. And way up at the top, there's a little thing that says default 3D view. So I'm going to click on that thing. And I'm going to hide these. So I... I like them. I've got my mouse button down. Right click. Hide them. I category in that view because I don't want to see them. And this 3D view is existing. And that's perfectly fine for right now. So let me rename it. 3D existing. And when I'm ready to do more. I'll show more. So there we go. That is our setup. We've done our file setup. That was the goal for these activities, and I think we have met it.